Well, hiya. Good morning. Welcome to your Thursday this morning. Now, we are starting off the show by joining a very excited this morning family member at what she calls her favourite event of the year. Right then, Josie, where are you? <laughs> Good morning, Phil. Good morning, Holly. I am just relaxing in this beautiful bed. No, I am not at Josie de Casa, but I am in my Eden, my Mecca, my happy place. I am, of course, at the Caravan Camping and Motorhome Show at the NEC Birmingham 2023. And there is literally something down here for everybody if you love a lifetime of adventure. Now look at this, I'm gonna start with the most luxurious of them all. This is a Rimmer Motorhome. You can put the kids in the back here, two single beds. Look at this, a light up shower. This shower is even more luxurious than the shower I've got at home. It all lights up beautiful. Normally, the toilet is in with the shower. Oh, no, no, no. You've got your separate toilet and even a separate basin there. Absolutely stunning. That doesn't happen very often. Uh, you've got an oven. You've got a freezer. You've got a fridge, which opens That's both lucky. ways. How amazing is that? Lucky opens both ways. You've way. also opens got your ways. own kitchen dining experience. Look at the grill. How incredible. I mean, this, imagine taking to the road on this with the kids, just a total lifetime of adventure. They've got a dining room here that you can have all your family meals. And what I love the most is you've got the big double bed there and you can gaze up at the stars while you're on all your camping adventure. And if that wasn't enough, did you think garages were only for your homes at home? Oh, no, 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 no. Think again. Look at this, comes with a garage. You can put your bikes in there. Oh you can put God. your motorbikes in there. It's so good, isn't it? You can take to the UK. It has got something for everyone. Now, if you didn't want too luxurious, we've got tents, we've got caravans, we've got trailer tents, and we've got all the latest camping mod cons that we're gonna show you. But Holly and Phil, all I've got to say at this point is if the caravan's not rocking, don't come knocking. <laughs> <laughs> can we have a look? Can you can can our can our cameraman go and show us the front of it so we can have a look and see what it it's looks like? It's very cool, actually. Oh, I yeah. love that the fridge have a look opens at this. both ways. Have 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 a I didn't know a fridge could do that. That's what. That's what. How much did you say so it this was? Up here. This... Oh, I didn't. I didn't check the price, Phil. I didn't check the price. Find but I knew out. Have a good Find time. out how for much us. Eighty thousand. £80,000. Brand new home for £80,000. I'd live in that, see? I'd live in that. And that double bed at the top, I'd live in that with the kids. <laughs> i just got to cut down on my cloves. <laughs> Very nice. Amazing. But loads here. <laughs> loads here for everybody. Absolutely everybody. Over 400 stands here today. So there is somewhat, something for everyone. And it is here until Sunday. And Josie is going to go and look at all 400 of those uh, <laughs> stands just for us. We'll it see you in a bit. It is your favourite place to be, isn't it? How happy are you right now? I'm literally, this is like, uh, this is heaven for me. I love camping. I always wanted to be the Judith Chalmers of the UK. We have got so many beautiful destinations on our doorstep and a lot of us don't know about them. Tintagel, North Devon, Bude, um, um, St Ives. I, oh, there's too many to even think of. I want to explore North Wales all on our doorstep. We've got one of the most beautiful countries in the world and I'm going to show you how to explore them today. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're not. <laughs> Set the alarm off. Step away. Good alarm. Yep. Step Brilliant away. Alarm. Stalker alert. That was so funny. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, see you in a bit, Josie. We'll be back with it a bit later. Oh, that couldn't have been better timing. I On could with it. the show, here's what you've got to look forward to. <laughs> Louise Rose back to take us shopping, and today it's all about skirts. Tell us more, Louise. It is all about skirts. I'm going to be showing you every length. So we've got the super minis, the minis, the midi to about here, and then the full maxi skirt in every style and look. It's one of my favourite runway shows I've put together in a while. Oh, great. See you in a bit. Uh, things get chilly in the kitchen today. Phil Vickery is supporting frozen fruit and veg for a very good reason. Well, things are a bit scarce at the moment, so I thought we'd take a look at the frozen offerings. Look at these here. So there's a soup using spaghetti. There's a, a, a cauliflower prawn curry uh, using microwave rice. And also a fruit to the forest or just blueberries or just raspberries set custard with lemon curd. It, it, do you know what? Some really good results. An extremely good value for money. Okay.
Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, the This Morning uh, Lust list is back and so is Bryony Blake. What you got for us today? I've got this. I can't stop touching this. It's so soft. I've got a huge array of newbies, soft things, edible things and first looks at stuff. I can't wait to show you. All right. Thank you, Bryony. Also on today's show, the Hebridean baker continues his tour of the Outer Hebrides. That's just after half past ten. Dr Zoe takes us through the latest health headlines at five to eleven. And Hollywood star, writer and producer John Favreau will be right here on the sofa ahead of the latest series of Star Wars spin-off, The Mandalorian. That's at midday. Also today, there's uh, a new moon and that means uh, a new you. Also, the stars and Hagen Fox say our astrologer is uh, here once again with a chance to look into your future. Morning. Hi. Morning, guys. How are you? Good. Good. Nice to see you. So, what's it? What's it saying for us? Well, basically, for it, yeah, it was a new moon. It was on the. It was on Monday, but it, the energy continues through the week. And this particular Piscean new moon, which is all about wishes and making wishes come true, is aligned with Saturn, which means that you have to commit to your wishes. So, if you want your wish to come true, make it happen, as a as opposed to waiting for it to happen. OK, that's interesting. Well, if you've got any questions for Hagen, you can give us a call for free on 08000 30 40 44 or download our free This Morning app to get involved. Please get in touch by 11.15 today and you must be 18 or over.